Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another week in another episode of The Legacy Podcast, where I am your host and your favorite lady, Anisha the Royal. I want to first say thank you to everybody who has been supporting me. I have now, what, 49 subscribers. I'm very excited, and it's been like our first few months. So thank you, everybody. Um, let's try to get it to 50 subscribers, y'all. So I need at least one person to share and have somebody to subscribe. Y'all, we are almost there to our next season, which I am very excited about because you will see that there is going to be a lot more incorporated into it. But um, even everybody who is new, thank you so much. Welcome to the Legacy Podcast. And I hope that you find very much so valuable information that you can use and apply um in that you get a deeper understanding about yourself that you get a deeper understanding and connection with god and that you're able to continue along your journey um in a much more peaceful way so without further ado we will get into our podcast right after our intro video Okay, I'm back and getting better every day. I never left, but I play it in my A. I had to switch up the flow like, okay. Okay, and you know what? I'm gonna get right up into this because this does not take long to overstand, understand, however you would like to interpret. You are different because you're different. They treat you different because you're different. You're set apart for a reason, meaning that there is something different that you need to tap into. There is something different in your path than it was some years ago. Birds of a feather flock together. And remember, we talked about the company that you keep. What company is keeping you? I want to remind somebody that you didn't grow up in the same house as them because you were supposed to be different. You, didn't, you weren't raised by that person because you were supposed to be different. You didn't fit in with these group of people because now they locked up. Where you at? Or you didn't go out with them and, and, the, and the party got shut up. And, and am I making sense? Sometimes being different and being set apart can save your life. Not only can it save your life, it's saving the generations that you're birthing after you. Just like there are certain, like when you're gardening, there's certain fruits and certain vegetables that you cannot plant right next to each other because they just they just don't mix it's like that in life it is like that with people it's like that through this experience that we are living we are spiritual beings living this earthly experience yes we are there is good there is evil you need to figure out and set yourself apart and be okay with being set apart because there is so much evil going on right now that sometimes you feel crazy because you don't fit in because they've made so much stuff normal. A lot of stuff is just so normal now that people don't even realize that this is evil. But when you feel in your heart and you feel deep down in your soul that this is not something that is serving you or no, I don't want to do this and anybody has a problem, it does not matter. You are set apart for a reason. Be different. Do different. Get different results. Because while they're all heading towards destruction, that won't be your result. And we've got to learn how to listen and follow instructions. I was talking to my grandma earlier this week and she used an analogy about baking a cake and how you can, you know, if you don't use the ingredients that you need to bake the cake, it won't even come out looking like a cake. You won't get the desired result if you do not follow instructions. You can put too much inside, too much of ingredients, or you cannot put not enough. Or you can just put the whole, you can just do whatever you want. Just don't even use the ingredients that's supposed to be used. But if you have a cake, right? And this cake come with instructions to make. In order to get that cake, especially if you're craving that cake, you're going to follow those directions, correct? So in life, right? Let's say you're a follower of Christ, right? There are a set of instructions that you have to follow. 
So in order to reach the heavenly kingdom, you prep by following the commandments. So in any day, when God comes back, you are already prepared. Because you've been following instructions. You've been prepping and adding all the ingredients in. Figuring out what doesn't work. What's not going to be getting used. There's a set of instructions. Once you're going along this journey. And you're figuring out what's working for your life. There's always going to be a set of instructions. Even laws that we are following and have to follow now. There are sets of instructions, right? So don't be afraid to be different. Don't be afraid to follow the instructions. Because somebody else's cake may be different and they may need a different guideline. And different ingredients, you looking over at how they're making their cake and you automatically telling them how to make their cake. Or you think your cake is wrong. Know that you're different for a reason. You are set apart for a reason. Take the instructions, the ingredients that you are given and make the best out of it. Make the best out of what you have. All of us have our own little recipes. We are all different. Things that make us up, that make us up, like that we have different ingredients, different characteristics, different textures, different traits, different personalities that all make up who we are. But it's based off of the instructions that we're following. Are we being kind to people? Are we not stealing from people? Are we loving on people? Are we encouraging people to do better? Are we shining our light by how we live? Because that's how you're that's how you're making you. You're making your image. You're baking your cake. But based off of the ingredients that you put in, based off of the character traits, based off of the stuff that what only what's in can come out, y'all. We've been saying this since the beginning. So everything that you are contributing to your journey, all the all the instructions that you are following will make up who you are. We'll make up the presentation. We'll make up the final result. I am here to encourage you to continue to be on your path, even if that means that they think that you are crazy. You know what God has told you to do. Walk in that. Walk for that. Everybody's not going to understand. Some people have to see your results to understand why you added certain ingredients. Some people have to see your results. They have to. Because some people are looking for those people who are do as I do and not do as I say. For the visual learners, the people who are going to gravitate towards you. And flock towards you because they are birds of a feather. Sometimes people are just lost. And there's one spark that starts the fire. And you can be that spark. And make everything else light up in their world. And it just starts to make sense. Everything clicks finally. But you've got to be okay with being set apart. You've got to be okay with not being planted with everybody. Sometimes you have to be okay with holding your seeds until you have the right soil to be planted in. Till you have the right amount of sunlight. Certain seeds have to be inside for four to six weeks before set outside. There are certain instruction manuals with that. There's instruction manuals for everything. We got to learn how to follow the instructions for our lives. The life that God has given me, the life that God has set before me, 
Now, I take God's commandments and I apply them with my life. And all these special ingredients that I was born with. All these things going through life and I'm constantly adding and taking away. Knowing that too much spice in the ingredients, too much sour in the ingredients, too much sweet in the ingredients can throw it off. The whole thing. Learning how to follow instructions. It's not as easy as you may think it is because you're always going to want to do things your way. And sometimes you'll have to submit to the will of God. Submission is not submission until it feels like it. You're subbing to the mission. I just want to encourage you that it is okay to be different. Find your lane. Get in it. Because I promise you, there's nothing new under the sun. But it may be new to you. And because you're different, you can contribute something totally different to something that's already been here. And add that flair to it. It takes a you to help other people. It takes a you to start another trend. It takes a you to have a different type of fashion sense. It takes a you. It does. But you have to be the one to see that. And it starts off with you being okay with not being like everybody else. Some people not even baking a cake. They may be baking muffins. But you're so worried about what they're using and their ingredients that you're tainting your process because you're not looking at the instructions for you was going to make up for the destiny and the plans that God has over your life. We got to learn how to be obedient. We got to learn how to listen to other people. We are all so big headed that we get offended when somebody tries to tell us something or we think we know everything and, and I don't know. Follow instructions. Listen. Be open-minded, pray and meditate on what it is that you find so you can get a deeper understanding behind the wisdom that was brought to you. It's okay to be different and it's okay to be set apart. Just make sure that you are following the directions for your life, the instruction manual for your life in order to get the results that you desire and to get what God promised you, okay? And for your daily inspiration today, I just want to remind everybody to continue to be on your path. It's all, right, it's all right for you not to be the same as everybody else. It's okay for you not to be the same um, as your family. Pray and meditate on what it is that God has given you and follow the set instructions given specifically to you for you. And I promise you, there is nothing that can block you. There's nothing that can stop you because God is for you. Then who can be against you? I love you and I hope that you are loving yourself. Y'all know the goal is to be happy. And all of you have a wonderful and fantastic day. Later.